edit page you want to disable this again I'm not asking I'm not asking you to let's let's view it for right now let's just say I want to view my website okay when I say disable this I'm not necessarily asking you to disable it because you know I just want you to uh, just for whatever six I, I want to take this out so if you look at this I want to take this out okay so you want to come here and click on disable title update and you want to view your page okay and now again we want to edit this page using our good brother Elementor Elementor really I mean this is the like best page builder out there on WordPress like it's the best until until I find any other one that beats it Elementor right now is just boss click on blocks category about they give an, an opportunity to have as many you know things as you want to choose like they are for right now they're just the best okay let's say I want this one uh, where's where's my one okay I want one that gives me yeah let's say I want this one right here about company if you click on that on this one look at just look at it it's beautiful you can change it about the company you can type in whatever you want to type in let's just see it right here this looks you know a little bit light style typography this is how it looks for right now if you want to increase the weight 800 look at it text color you want to change it black don't worry it's gonna change it but by the time I show you the website you're gonna see it it's gonna change pretty soon uh, let's say you want to move it to the middle this is it this is how it reads like center reading if you want to justify justify it like the left of it so it looks like this also so you want to change this background you don't like the white background you click on it style gradient color let's say I don't want to keep using what I'm, I'm using but it's very good to always use you know the color variance on your logo to build like your full professional website because it says highly of you it really gives your website that taste that touch okay so let's just say I just want to put something let's say green so this is what it looks like right now but it absolutely depends on you but most importantly always follow that like, the color pattern of your logo my, my logo color pattern is mostly purple then a little bit of yellow okay but it depends on you from this read more you click on it right here you can change it from read more to let's say contact and you just put like slash contact and it takes you to the contact page I'll, che I'll, I'll show you how it does that and like in a minute so slash contact it takes you there and you click on style if you want to change it click on style background let's say red you change it to red always it's very good to choose you know like your logo color I've said that countless times now and you want to click on it again you click over here where it says hover right now it's showing green when you hover around it shows green click on hover background color let's say blue it hovers to blue so it absolutely you know depends on your color variation but please choose one of these for why I'm just doing all of this right now like a rough manner is because you know it's a tutorial and I want you I want you to have as, as uh, the most full control of your website I don't want to show you like oh Nick Nick for that step by real step because then it's almost like I'm trying to guide you piece by piece in doing it but this way I want you to have full control of it because if you have full control of it you learn this pretty fast okay so for right now this is how it is let's say I want to change the color of the text inside you click on the this I just change it to black that is just pretty much it you're gonna see when I change it when I you know update it pretty soon I don't like this bicycle right here I want to change it I go where it says choose image and I choose another image let's say I just want to choose this guy we haven't chosen him uh, chosen him in some time now so let's say I want to choose him so now look at him okay it looks pretty decent 
let's say I don't even want to choose any of this right here delete I've taken him out okay now this is how it looks if you want to reverse it oh I just made a mistake what am I what am I gonna do now you go over here which is history you click on it and you click on this on the phone you just did so now he's back okay he's smiling at us too hi click on update and now let, let us look at it this is how it looks okay now services this is the last but not the least edit page we scroll down disable title edit with Elementor no update first before you edit with Elementor please do not forget that so that one is an error on my part so and now you want to edit with Elementor add template blocks blocks category and now you want to scroll down to services you can choose the services you want okay what services do I feel like I want right now let's say I want this one okay let's say I, I like this one right here it says services and sh shows you like different variants and all of that so it's loading onto the page give it a minute and this is what it looks like so you can put in as many things as you want you can change this image right here you can change this text right here let's just change this text right here for the last time services looks pretty good let's just see let's even say I want to change it our services so I just go over here our that's it our services you can put a link to it it probably takes them to another page absolutely depends on you click on style typography you can change it you can change the color whatever you want to change this entire background right here you don't like the black color go to style click on it and change the color if you want to vary if you want gradients you can click on the gradients it changes the color to like a gradient if you want a video you can add a YouTube link or Vimeo link if you have a slideshow you can add as many like slideshows as you want well for right now let's put a gradient and leaves it there you can obviously change the color of the gradient what it means by right here if it shows black so it means like the top part is going to be black if it shows you know this pink it means that the bottom color is going to be pink you can obviously you can adjust the angle too look at it adjust as much as you want right now I like it this way if you put radio it takes it to like the middle if you put linear lines it up so that depends on you you can change this as often as you want it says edit image you can click on it you know change up the image align it however you want to align it you know it looks pretty good right now you can put a link to it if you want to so in case someone clicks on the image it just takes them to another page let, let me just show you an example let me just put a link slash contact and update let, let me show you so if you come over here and just click this it takes you right directly to the contact page so all those links that I give you that are clickable this like gives you right now this is just how to build a website out of your own free will that's why if you look at this like a little bit of jargon but the reason I made it this way so you can have as many options as you want to control you know the back end of the website as you want I don't want you to feel like I'm, I'm making you into a robot like controlling you and telling you oh you put this you put this but right now so you have as many options as you want you can inst you can put in as many templates as you want you can change this if you don't like the way this guy looks and I, I don't know what he's looking at but if you don't like his face you can change him you can mess with it as much as you want templates do a good job blocks do a good job you, you use the templates for the home page you can also use the blocks for the home page if you want to but you know they all they all they, they complement each other for right now let's just say I wanted to add a widget go over here and says customize give it a minute click cry says footer says photo widgets click over here 
now you go back go back click on widgets let's say widget area one you click on edit add a widget and let's say uh, you want a calendar let's just put it high that's the title of the calendar I don't need I don't need no title so you put it there you go on you go again foot area widget add another widget you can add like an audio player so if you have like if you have a song let's say if you have a mixtape uh, you can add your mixtape right here to your website uh, what else you can add a gallery you can add an image let's say you in the footer image you want to add an image you click on add image uh, like this bicycle right now remember I didn't like it before but right now I feel like I like it you can add that right here so this is just examples what you can do with it just feel free you know do not feel like oh this is like surgery you're going through trust me web design is not surgery in any way possible it's it's gives you the freedom to do whatever you want you can click and put a search right here I have like a search bar in case you want then another one let's say you want the last one go over here add a widget then you can add a video if you want I don't have any video right now but let's say you want to add a text you can delete this add a widget add a text and let's just say uh, the text is uh, hi my peeps hi my peeps you know feel free when you're doing this it's not surgery hi that's hi way man you can so it absolutely depends on you 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 want to you know feel free and you know this publish please don't please do not make like your website like this because this looks tacky but you know you, you get what I'm, where I'm getting to you can play with it a little bit you can play around with it as I said if you use the pro versions of any of this I get a little bit of a commission and you get freedom to do whatever you want to do 